Chapter 1. An Injured Lion Still Wants to Roar Of all the animals residing on our planet, I think the animal that I associate best with is the moose. I know, pretty random, right? But I do believe that this is one of the best representations of myself. When anyone thinks of an animal, they would come up with something extravagant or interesting. Just like me, the moose goes by unnoticed, unless you come into contact with them. In my case, I would say I'm pretty ordinary, nothing indistinguishable at face value. But once you get to know me, I'm not as plain as I seem. Many people would perceive a moose to be nothing special, but just as a being out there living their own lives. I would say I live a pretty generic life, and I'm truly grateful for it. I would like to believe that I have individuality, but under the perception of others, they may think otherwise. Like a moose, I am doing whatever I can do to live the best possible life I can, mentally and physically. Chapter 4 the parent lottery. When someone mentions the lottery, people usually think about some sort of miracle that can alter a person's life. Hidden between that mist of wonder and wealth, there are huge drawbacks such as high taxes and greedy followers. However, I landed on the jackpot, with not a single drawback. I was brought into this world by my loving parents, Wang Wing and Kim Hung Lei, in April 13, 2003. My dad came to America when he was around my age and he has worked his way up from a swap meet merchant at 16 years of age to a pretty good engineer. My mother came to America in her late teens and met my dad in college. My parents have bestowed upon me the tools for success, and I will use them wisely. As a kid, my dad has taught me in life, whatever you do, work hard and don't ever let anyone bring you down. My dad has been the person that has taught me that diligence is the key to success. My dad demonstrated his persistent nature when he got a heart attack. Once he gained consciousness again, he wanted to go back to work so he can help out our family. I am fortunate that I have two wonderful parents that keep me humble and make me the best me I can possibly be. Chapter 21 Jay I would say I have a ton of role models in my life, but the two that have helped me achieve my goals were my older brother, Tommy, and my late master, Hai. What can I say about my brother, Tommy? Being my older brother, he had to tolerate my spontaneous behavior as a child. He always motivated me to work hard and has always supported any of my decisions. He may prank me from now and then, but when he has an opinion, he will say it straight up, unadulterated. To me, honest feedback is everything, and by being harsh to me, I know he cares for my success. Now, let's switch gears to my late mentor, Master High. As a kid, I always thought he was pushing me too hard, from academics to taekwondo. Whenever we practiced, he would always correct anything that I did wrong. Eventually, when I got better, he gave me an opportunity to be part of the demonstration team, and I have no regrets in terms of joining it. At the time, I wasn't as grateful as I should have been. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago. I was honestly devastated that he was no longer with us. By being my teacher for so many years and to pass on before I can prove to him I was worthy or skilled enough, I felt like I didn't do him justice. To compensate that, I have been trying to get better at Taekwondo since then. Fortunately, his teaching still lived on with me. Study hard and train hard as well. Thank you, Master High. Chapter 28 Never Give Up Walls are something else. We can either just stare it down or we can try and get over it. Our actions to get over the wall may vary, but the thing that most people share in common is the characteristic of persistence. My biggest goal currently is to get better at Taekwondo. I have been practicing for about 8 years and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Taekwondo for me has been life changing. It has helped me keep up my physical health along with building up my self confidence along with leadership abilities. Lately, I haven't been able to practice due to being wrapped up with school work. But once I get some of my obligations over it, the grind continues. Whenever I practice, I have the mindset of how am I going to get better than I was last year. Even if I fall and fall again, I will try and get better. While I lack for time, I make it up with dedication and perseverance. To me, Taekwondo is a way to connect with others. It can range from teaching others, friendly competition, or even shared pain. The friends that I have met over the years through Taekwondo are basically family too. But without them, I wouldn't have the same drive that I have now. Chapter 56 
make a decision, Tigger or Eeyore. Aren't Disney characters amazing? They have so much range of emotions, but the ones that I will be talking about today are Tigger and Eeyore from the Winnie the Pooh franchise. Honestly, when I was younger, I was more of a Tigger. I was happy as can be. The world was my oyster, and I didn't have to worry about any obligations. School wasn't really a problem, and I always loved to laugh with others. However, when I went to middle school, my whole mindset was terrible. All I cared about was to retain my honor and get good grades. By having grades dictate my actions, I secluded myself in a shell with little to no entry. Fortunately, high school has been amazing. Even though the classes are harder, the students, the teachers, and my friends have all been amazing. Pessimistic thinking or optimistic thinking. Whatever the case is, they may work sometimes, but a proper balance is more realistic to me. To clarify, I neither identify myself as a Tigger or an Eeyore, but as both. Failure to me is a learning experience, but it's also an opportunity for me to shine brighter in the future. Hi, thanks for watching my last lecture video. I know this isn't really part of the rubric, but if this was my last memoir or lesson that I would be giving, there's so much more I would like to say. Everyone, be happy. Life is great and you can make it even greater. Everyone is special in their own unique way. We just need to find out what makes us different. With all the hate around the world, we can always counterbalance it with befriending each other. Even if you don't know a person that well, just reach out to them. If you can save or help at least one person in your life, do so. It may not impact you that much, but it may mean a lot to them. As a whole, we can accomplish many great feats. And if it isn't much trouble, please check out the website, welovetheearth.org. We have been given life on this planet for a reason, and it's our job to preserve it for the future generations. Just spreading awareness is great, and I really appreciate it. Okay, time to wrap things up. I would like to say a quick thank you to everyone in my life that has shaped me to be who I am today. Thank you for sticking around for this long. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.